too much fishing, not enough catching. When you tuck that anchor, yeah. let that net run out. Don't yeah, pull throw, that jug out say, right away. You're saying there's a jug right there. Right. Don't throw that out. Don't Just throw, throw that the out. Anchor Just throw the let, anchor and get yeah. out of the way. All right. OK. So that whenever it's coming Don't forget out. about the jug on the deck. Whoa. You don't want that out? Oh, oh, OK. It's good. It's good? It's all right. You're all right. It'll be fine. That's a mixed message, man. I do not want to screw this up. Like I said, it's all routine and rhythm. Scoop the float, clear the debris, loop the line around the ever helpful hydraulic wheel, and hope that Lady Luck is smiling on your efforts. Well, that's promising early on. He jinxed it. He said it's promising right off the bat. That's what I was afraid of. Well, then it should work the other way, too. This is doomed. We're never going to see another fish. <laughs> Water temperature pays a big, big part of what we got going on. Cold is bad? Yeah. But hell, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Like, how does the quality compare to the crazy expensive stuff? I mean, Beluka's Beluka. That's what everybody wants. That's the stuff? Yeah. But... Well, I ate a bunch of this this morning. I thought it tasted pretty good. But, you know, I was pretty drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Do you, do you eat it? I love it. You're not just saying that? No. Yeah. You got to know what you're selling. You got it. I mean, you don't call us with a problem with your stuff because we don't send anything out that's got a problem. Well, that's, that's a good point. So, On the other hand, I don't watch this show anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hand me that tub so we can go eat some lunch. Please, of course. All right, that's it. Quick lunch break. Don't go anywhere. We need about 15 of them. What would you consider a, a good haul? 60, 80 head would be great. So I got you 15. All right. I feel like that's all of them. Oh, there should be more than that. No. Early. Really? Early. Oh, yeah. Where? Oh, there's one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Well, that's the biggest one in there, man. Well, she was hiding. Oh, my gosh. All right, wait a second. You're just, you're just pulling them up by magic there. That's, that, oh, no, here's another one. You're right. Huh. Imagine that. Oh, dear. This is a lightning rod, isn't it? Yep, pretty much. So what are you going to do? We're going to stick one of them down on one side, one of them down on the other side. Cliff prefers to stun the fish before removing their eggs. I'm guessing the fish prefer it, too. So is this painful for the fish? They ain't never said nothing about it. They're not being electrocuted. They're just being knocked unconscious. Trust me, it's for the best. Most of the times, I take my wet gloves off before I do that. You know, that is an excellent tip. <laughs> Want to see what's behind the gray door? This place has a real feel to it. The kind of place where you bring a drifter to get his kidney out. Too much? Obviously, it's important to look good when you're removing eggs from a sturgeon. So this is all necessary, of course, because we're, we're preparing food that's going to be shipped all across the country. Correct. Exactly. Honey, get in here. He's putting gloves on. There you go. Got it. Now we're ready to roll. Right. This is simple but very important. Now I'm going to cut straight across here. That line, you got to stay away from it. You got to stay away from the right blue down line. The side of it. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's their main gut. That's what we're staying away from. It's got sand in it. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants sand. They're relatively tough fish, so you got to get a little bit aggressive with them. They're as tough as they look, ain't they? Yeah, they really are. Now, I'm just going to scoop all that stuff out, right? Doing it perfect. I haven't heard you say perfect all day. Yeah, I was pushing it there. Oh, shoot. Do uh, you feel like we've got enough out of there, or you? It looks to me like you left about $7 worth in there. Oh, that's no good. No. You're getting it down to about three fifty now. That's good. You got it. Nothing is wasted here. After we harvest the caviar, Cliff sells what's left of the fish. Wow, that's full. To a company that sells smoked sturgeon. Yeah. It's not just about the eggs. How much is that right there? 60, 70 bucks. You know, part of the reason I'm still doing this crazy show is because I do think that it's important people understand where their food oh, comes absolutely. from, sure. you know? I'll bet you a lot of people would be surprised to know that caviar comes out of Mississippi. A new routine and a new rhythm. Slice, scoop, drop, repeat. Kind of a gut-wrenching job, though. Oh, ho, ho! 
Curry, you want to grab these? There's an invisible line in this room that separates the food prep area from the butcher's table. I'll cross that line in a minute. Tastes great with champagne. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sip right over here. Mm -hmm. The row sacks we've just harvested are rubbed across a mesh screen to separate the eggs from the membrane. Like everything else about today, this process is repeated over and over again. <laughs> nice. Did you just throw it on the floor? No, I dropped it. Throwing it on the floor would look like that. <laughs> Do you want me to get your seven arm? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not the golf club. <laughs> so now we have all those eggs inside this blue bucket with a bunch of water. Okay, now go ahead and dump very carefully. Loosen a few, but you can live with that, no, right? No, that's what you have to do. Those are going to be bad ones anyway that are either broken or have too much fat on them. So all the schmutz is leaving, but not the good stuff. Right. We are rinsing the hell out of this caviar. Rinsing the fat right out of it. You know that song, I'm going to wash that man right out of his hair? I was just thinking that same thing. Really? Going to wash that fat right off of them eggs. I'm going to wash that fat right off of them eggs. See, you got a song. Going to wash that yeah, fat right yeah, off of them right. eggs and send them down the drain. These eggs will drain for 10 to 15 minutes. And then the pickling process begins. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Now it's starting to look oh, like something job. you'd pay for. So when that was done, we would put it into a stainless steel bowl mm -hmm. and put the salt in. Mm -hmm. You stir it a certain number of times. Mm -hmm. It's a secret. Secret time, proprietary? Yeah, a secret. Like what kind of salt you use, how much salt oh. you use, how many times you stir it. So there are a couple things we can tell you, but we can tell you that it's salted and stirred <laughs> here in Cliff and Kara's garage. But that's all the detail garage. you're going to get. Uh, it's a processing, a processing facility, me. sorry, not you a garage. You sound like we're changing tires in here. It's so. not a garage. On cooking shows, they call this a swap out. This is what the caviar looks like after the pickling in all its stirred and secretly salted glory. So a container like this costs how much? Anywhere from $400 to eight, 900 per pound. Start to make sense now? Cliff and Kara haul in 4,000 pounds of these eggs every year. At $400 a pound, that's $1.6 million. Routine and rhythm have their advantages. I just want to say that this is what I did today, all right? This is probably how much? 6.82. 6.82 pounds. And how much a pound? 400. 400. This is roughly $2,500 worth of caviar. There you go. All right, look, I did the math in my head. The uh, fish made the ultimate sacrifice. You were the ultimate hosts. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You're the ultimate guest. You're very kind. I'd love to chat, but instead I'm going to walk through the gray door and find my way off to my next filthy adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, show me caviar, USA. <laughs> to sum up, if you'd like a little row in your mouth, and really, who wouldn't, you've got options. You could buy the imported stuff from Russia, or you could support the hardworking crew of the good ship Hillbilly Deluxe. Personally, I'd just say yet to the Ruskies and let the good people of Clarksville, Missouri show me the best row my money can buy right here in the USA.